Today we're going to explore this plate, and this is called Euclid's plate. Now we've talked a little bit about Euclid before, um, and I'm not going to tell you much of a story about him because we actually don't know very much about him. We know he was he lived around 300 BCE, and we know he wrote about arithmetic and about geometry. And one of his famous uh, books that we still know of today is called The Elements. Euclid talked about some, you know, really important sort of axioms, what he called axioms or truths, like the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. But one other thing that Euclid did was he explored uh, right triangles and he explored them in this way. And we're gonna do some uh, looking at how, uh, what Pythagoras said about triangles is true with this plate. Okay, so let's take a look at this plate. And I can see we have a right triangle here and we have some squares built off the legs and a square built off the hypotenuse. So I wanna see if we can prove, again, Pythagoras's theorem here with this as well. Uh, and we're gonna use these parallelograms to help us do that. So the first thing I'm going to do so I'm going to take out our square, our red square. And now I'm going to slide this triangle down right here and use these parallelograms to take up that space. So we can see that these two parallelograms do, in fact, take up the space left by our red square, right? We just had to do some moving to make that possible, but it takes up the space of the red square. So we could say that these two parallelograms added together equal this red square. Now let's focus Let's focus on this uh, yellow square. <clears throat> I want to see if one of these parallelograms is equivalent to this yellow square. So take that out and I'm going to use the whole space again. So I can see that this yellow parallelogram took up the same amount of space as our yellow square. We just had to do some moving. But so then I could say that this yellow parallelogram and the yellow square are equivalent. Let's check and see what we can find out about the blue square. We'll use the whole space again. Aha, this blue parallelogram is taking up the same amount of space as the blue square. So these two shapes, the blue square and the blue parallelogram are equivalent. So to go back what we looked at to begin with, These, uh, the blue parallelogram and the yellow parallelogram uh, take up the space of the red square. And we know that the blue parallelogram is equivalent to the blue square and the yellow parallelogram is equivalent to the yellow square. Therefore, again, the squares built off the legs of this right triangle equal the square uh, built off the hypotenuse. We just explored it in a different way. Would you like to try it now? <laughs> 